So a lot of you guys might have that question once season 10 is over, where can you get the exotic busy little bee? Right, because you guys know this does come from this season, but what happens when the season's over? Because a lot of you guys are asking for that. Where else can you guys get this weapon? And this is what this video is for. So let's dive into one of the coolest exotic pistols in the game, the Busy Little Bee, which each shot to a different target will give one stack up to 10. Each stack gives you 20% weapon damage for a total of almost 200% weapon damage if you have 10 stacks. Now stacks will activate once the agent switches weapons and will last for 10 seconds. So yeah, this has probably been one of the coolest exotic pistols to have in a long time just for the fact of this talent alone now a lot of you guys know if you are playing this season 10 and you've already made it to 85 that you get your first exotic pistol busy little bee at 85 but what about if you're watching this video after the season is over or if you're trying to get another one well let's talk about that now in this video so besides that rewards track, if you guys head over to your projects, you notice weekly you do have exotic caches. So that is another way for you guys to farm the busy little bee. It has a chance of dropping out of these exotic caches along with any other exotic in the game except the two raid exotics and the one legendary. All the other exotics will drop from these exotic caches. So you have your weekly legendary mission, you have the weekly shape reacquisition re project, which I've already completed. We also have the weekly summit project, which you get one exotic. So each one of these will have a chance of dropping that weapon. Now, along with that, you also have one of the best game modes in the game currently for farming exotics countdown. Yes, you have a chance of getting an exotic drop just playing it. But if you play this on heroic, and you complete the objectives, I think you get max of 204. If you do challenging, I think it's 140 now. And then if you do those two times, you're guaranteed to be able to use those countdown reacquisition points at the countdown vendor to buy. Also doing summit has a good chance of dropping it if you guys just farm pistols. So what I would recommend is just setting pistols as your target of loot and just keep farming if you guys have been looking to get another one of those. Also, in each season, there's always going to be leagues. Like you see right now, we have one active that will always give you one exotic cash. Also, there is global events throughout the season. That is a great way for you guys to get exotic caches too. So if you guys have been looking for that, just spend your global event points on those caches and you'll have a chance. And if there's also a rewards track for the global event too. So you guys can actually do all of these and these are all great ways for you guys to get it. Remember, if you guys are gonna spend your points on exotic caches for the global event, you'll do it right here. Once the global event's available, it'll pop up there. And for the shade reacquisition points, you come here and then you just buy them right here for 224. So a lot of different ways, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You guys can get this weapon from any of the exotic caches once you guys have unlocked it in the rewards track. And if you guys are watching this and you guys don't have the season 10 active, say you're trying to get it and you just started playing and it's season 11, well, that is how you guys can get this pistol right here. Now, one other thing a lot of you guys are probably gonna ask is, what about the blueprint? Because the blueprint has not dropped. Well, let's head over here. So the blueprint will be added to this crafting vendor shortly I, th I think they're working on that usually there's always a little bug between it but if you go right here she should have the blueprint she currently has the bloody knuckles blueprint already so all you have to do is purchase it but if we go over here to the crafting station and we go down to pistols you'll notice that we don't have the one for the busy little bee but if you go back to the the gloves and you go down you'll notice that we have the bloody knuckles right to reconfigure it so obviously there's a mistake here but you should be able to purchase the blueprint right here and i believe that will be fixed in 16.1 so don't worry about it that should be live by the time most of you guys watch this video unless you're watching this today when the video goes live so this is where you'll be able to get the blueprint it's not in the game at the moment they should be fixing that and that is how you guys can get this weapon so if you guys have been looking how to get this after the se this season's over or if you're looking to get another one that's my recommendation for farming this target farm pistols and then obviously you want to try to use all your points to buy those exotic caches so that's it guys i will see you guys in the next one but until then a hey, nothing must goes out